Males of Reddit, what is the craziest reaction you've had when you said no thanks, I don't want to have sex? She bent forward, and said very loudly said do you want sex, to my crotch. So that's how that feels. She had a half crying half angry crisis, kept asking if it was something she did or if there was someone else or if I was sick, and ranting about how no guy says no to sex, you're mad about it something all I could think the whole time is, I have to never, ever react like this if someone tells me they don't want to have sex, this is just embarrassing. I've had a glass of vodka poured on me, and told that I was an ass for leading her on, I didn't lead her on I was having normal conversation with her, she was drunk, and I wasn't. I literally had to install a lock on my bedroom door, and the first night I locked it she battled it for like 4 hours, and was screaming open the goddamn door, and I'm not going to rape you, door stayed locked. Had been working at a new bar for a couple of months, one of the waitresses who had a rep for sleeping with new doorman gets hammered, and can't drive home, I take her home, walk her into her house, put her on the couch, and put a blanket over her, as I'm leaning down putting the blanket over her she grabs my shirt and tries pulling me down to kiss her, I tell her she's drunk, so no thanks, and then she proceeds to tell everyone at work I'm gay for the next 6 months because I wouldn't take advantage of her while she was drunk. Short story, I got hit with crowbar, long story, she said okay, we walked back to my place, I guess she was still thinking it might happen there, not at hers, a loony came charging out of his house screaming about us throwing snowballs at his door, we hadn't and whacked me with a crowbar in the ribs, she stopped him before he hit me again, don't really remember how, and just then the police he'd already called turned up, got me to hospital, two broken ribs, one cracked, one collapsed lung, gf did say, when she visited me next day, it was all my own fault for not staying, and freaking her tongue. You think I'm ugly so I'm going to kill myself, no, I'm exhausted from your texts fighting with me while I'm at work, doing work at work dealing with you being sad because I want 20 minutes to myself, and your previous half dozen suicide threats today. In our 20s me, and my friends like to hit up this local dive bar, drinks were poured strong, and cheap, decent beer selection, and not crowded at all. Since it was a bit divey we were usually the youngest by a generation. This one night some old woman that was either experimenting with the wet hair look, or was getting her hair wet somehow every 10 minutes not entirely sure took a drunken liking to me. After I refused her a few times she say something like if you don't loosen up you'll be a virgin forever pulls her shirt up to flash me as a look what you're missing I guess, and storms off. Bartender poured me a free one so I got a beer out of it at least. In college, had a few trysts that ended badly, decided to take it slow on the next one, hung out with a girl one Saturday while we were both pretty drunk, made out on my bed. She started taking her clothes off, and I said, not yet, she screamed at me, she said that I basically told her that she was hideous, she never talked to me again, spread rumors that I was gay, every time I would meet a new woman, she would meet with them privately, and lie about me, didn't really have much luck with ladies the rest of college, I got a 45 minute lecture about how that makes her feel terrible about her body, and how I'm basically emotionally abusing her by not wanting to have sex with her, we're no longer together, thankfully, so I don't know what was up with this girl, but she wanted in my pants probably more than was healthy, I turned her down on several occasions, and usually she accepted it with grace, and composure, I never ended up having sex with her, and one day when I was propositioned by her she just freaked out, and what went from a weird friendship turned into full out annoying girl fest on me her saying that I was leading her on this whole time, making her think I wanted to date her, keeping her out of the dating world and basically just being a dick. I was later explained by one of our mutual friends that she apparently thought that I was being nice to her because I liked her, and that I teamed with her online because I wanted to go on dates with her. Turned out she had this whole relationship fantasy about us that was never real, and I was oblivious to it the whole time. My ex-girlfriend showed up at my apartment at 2am completely crap faced telling me she needed to sleep it off at my house, being that I didn't want to see her kill herself or someone else driving I let her crash in my bed, and I take the couch, as I am trying to sleep she wanders out to the living room completely nude telling me she wants me to come to bed, I tell her that I will absolutely not sleep in bed with her, and whatever she had in mind would not be happening, being that she was not a very rational woman while we were together, and she was sober it escalated to her screaming at me and how I am going to regret denying her. At one point she mentions that unless I come to bed with her she is going to contact the police, and tell them I raped her. I take this time to grab my car keys, 
and leave immediately with her screaming at me all the way down the stairs. I decided to sleep at my dad's, and not return to the apartment. Luckily she never tried anything, and never contacted me again. Last I heard she was living across the country. What, do you think you are better than me? Yelled at me, in public. The craziest reactions would be them not taking no for an answer, and persistently kept asking, thinking that would wear me down. And honestly, they did wear me down. On our date, she had gotten drunk while I had stayed sober. When I got her back to her place, she wanted to do it, but I don't roll that way. She got pretty upset, and said I have to do her, along with some other fairly presumptive things, and she was incredibly persistent. I eventually got her to accept that it wasn't happening that night, and I got her to go to bed. Not that crazy in the grand scheme of things. She, and I ended up dating for a year or so, and she was generally a very kind, and caring person. OMG are you gay? No, I just don't want to have sex with you. I got drugged later that night. Me, and my girlfriend broke up mutually. I woke up around 4 in the morning to her in my clothes in bed with me begging to have sex. I say no, then she proceeds to drunkenly puke all over my possessions. One tenth never do again. I've done this multiple times, sometimes I'm just not feeling it at the time or with that person. Every time though, girls are absolutely baffled. It's like you're challenging some sort of self-evident truth. They start looking at you as confused as if you said you truly believe the earth is flat and the moon the landing was faked. At first, they don't believe you, then they think there's something wrong with them, then they get angry at you, then they still don't believe you, then they do weird stuff, if they don't really know you, or start ranting about all the terrible stuff you do, and how great they are to you, if they know you. I've had girls after being refused try to be seductive that just ended up really cringy. For example, one girl just took off her shirt, and bra with her back turned, looked back at me, and goes, oops, you saw that? Still a no, I've had a girl come over, and put my hand on her vagina, yeah okay, imagine a random guy putting a girl's hand on his dick when she's not in the mood, it's not sexy, I've had girls say things like, what are you talking about, all guys want sex, I've had girls ask me to watch them masturbate, which when you're not turned on feels as weird, and gross as continuing to watch the rest of a porn video after you've already finished, they end up thinking it's because they're not pretty enough or that I'm not into them but they can't grasp the idea that I'm just not in the mood. I don't have a huge libido, and a lot of my energy goes into work, and bettering myself. Yet when I've refused sex, and told the girl the truth about it, I get endless crap for it because that's not how guys are. In my experience, not extrapolating this to every girl ever, a lot of girls have a double standard about girls, and guys' feelings when it comes to sex. If a girl doesn't want to have sex with a guy, and refuses, she's empowered. If a guy doesn't, there's something wrong with him just my experience, and two cents. Went over to a girl's place, and we were watching a movie when we started making out, and were almost about to do it, when I realized all the psychotic behavior she had displayed in trying hard to not even meet me initially, and knew this would just end up being worse. So I said, nah, I'm good, this doesn't feel right, and left. A day later, she sends me a hate text calling me an asshole, and saying I was begging to meet, and this is why I was single and would go through life doing nothing, but playing video games. Yeah, okay, lady, you spent most of the time we spoke saying no to even a coffee date, and now suddenly I am at fault. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more stories delivered to you. Thanks for listening. See you later.